We have three topics today. We're going to talk about from the um, section on the nervous system and the sense organs. We're going to talk about the eye and the ear, one or two aspects there. Something about the endocrine system and then also the menstrual cycle. So as you can see, a lot to do. Okay, Colin, let's get started. Right. Um, I think I've just put this in very quickly, so if they can look at just it. Just to make them dizzy. Yeah, so to show you that your eye can play quite a few tricks yeah. with you. Uh -huh. But let's start off with the eye, and um, we are not going to spend a lot of time on this, since this is work that you can do on your own. When we get to certain sections of the work, then we will pay more attention to that. What we want to point out here is that know the three layers of the eye from the outside to the inside. Yeah. The eye is actually a fluid-filled sac. Yes. And, and the sac part itself consists of the three layers. So know the layers and also know the function of each of those. Then also what we want to point out here is that when they show you a frontal view or a side view of the eye, then you should know or should be able to identify the different parts and especially here it's not as easy when they show you the iris here from the side you can see and the opening between it that is the pupil right but from the front you can see very easily the dark part in the center that's the pupil with the colored eye or the colored part of the eye the iris but make sure that you know from the side as well from the front how to identify and to identify those sections and the protection of the eye, that's also important. Um, as you can see, the bony socket for starters, the eyeball itself is positioned and cushioned by the fat deposits. And um, before we get to the retina, apart from the bony socket and the fat deposits, remember about the eyelids, your eyelashes, the glands on the eyelids, etc., etc. Those are things that you have to go and do yourself. So the structure of the eye, as Colin has said, also a section as seen from side, a lengthwise section, um, a frontal view, the protection of the eye. Those things are for you. Um, the um, inner layer of the eye at the back is the layer that contains the photoreceptors that makes the eye a sense organ. And there are two types. Yeah, first of all, you must identify the two. You have the cones and the rods. And in between, you see the rods with the cones in between. But what is important is that you must know that the rod-shaped cells, those, the rods as we know it, they can distinguish between, or, or rather, they are more sensitive within very dim or darkness. And um, then the cones, they are sensitive to light and color. Mm. Yeah, I think it's easy to remember. Yeah cone for color. There's a question here before we move away from the structure of the eye about the, can I just have that, yeah. the vitreous humor and the aqueous humor. Now if we take there you will find the um, aqueous humor and here you will find the vitreous humor and the difference is simply that this is slightly more liquid and that the vitreous humor is slightly more gel-like and that gel-like a consistency helps to give the eyeball its shape. So that is the main difference, just the consistency. One can almost say the thickness. Right, and the two things that you have to know about the eye, apart from the structure, is the functioning as far as sight is concerned, in other words, for closer viewing, for distance viewing, and the reaction of the eye to light.